How, how good does it feel to, to get a result tonight as hard as you've been working over these last five, six, seven games? Yeah, like it, it, it's been, seems like a long time coming. We've had some real good games. It, you know, I didn't mind our first. They, they, they ran the shots up pretty good in the first, but as far as chances, we had it at 7-6, but the second completely got away from us. We were not anywhere near where we should have been, and Elvis was outstanding. So he gave us a chance there to get, kind of uh, gather ourselves for the third. I thought it was a better third. Still made some big saves there for us, but thrilled that we could get a result tonight. It's good. Gonsenmeyer gets you going on a night when follow, that follows a night where they didn't really get a whole lot of work. How, how gratifying was that to see those guys step in like they did? Yeah, it's huge. You get a couple goals right away from them, right? I, I told them they're going to play a more than they did the other, and I know it was limited just due to the circumstance, but um, they got us rolling. They almost scored a third one there right at the end of the first, so uh, that was huge for us to get that kind of contribution from that line. What kind of jump does it give really everybody when you see a guy like Carson Meyer, second game in the NHL, get in there and, and get a couple like that? Yeah, they get got the puck for him when he got the assist, and then next thing you know, he got his first goal. He almost had a second one there, too, if it's, that stick got in there. So, no, it was big. Uh, happy for him. Uh, he, you know, he's, a, he's an honest worker. He's, he, he puts out an effort out there, so good for him. You have uh, tasked your goaltender to play a big stretch of games here and kind of fight mm-hmm. through any tiredness or anything like that, and he's playing well. Do you, I mean, you said he made some big saves tonight. Do you like what you've seen out of him through all this? Yeah, he, he's got to feel it, you know, and, and this is one of those games, if he's not on, we don't win this game. There, there's no question. So, you know, he's got 38 shots on him in two periods which is you know that's ridiculous it's too much um but he stood in there it's a 2-2 game and we're one shot away from getting lead which is what happened we had a better third but these are the things that we want him to feel on a back-to-back and he's going to get peppered sometimes and so he he stood to the challenge this is great for him was there a thought to go with Baruby tonight or no no you you haven't been around he's going to play them all i want him i want him in the net Uh, you've gotten a lot of goals from your bottom "Quote unquote bottom six forwards right now. Mm-hmm. Some of the top guys have gotten a little chilly, you might say. How big have they been to sort of keep you guys afloat offensively? Yeah, it, you know they they our top guys ran hot for a long time. I mean, Patty was on a pace. It was you know for two months he yeah. was nineteen and twenty two or something like that, right? So you're going to slow down. It, it, it's just it's impossible to keep going at that pace. So. For us to get wins, you're going to have to get contributions. You know, the Danforce and these guys, we get it from our fourth line, and, and, and that's the only way you're going to survive if you don't get contributions from other lines. So, um, you know, the perfect storm is everybody's on at the same time, which is very rare when it happens. So you enjoy it when it does, but, um, you know, we're, we, we've been fighting here the last several games to get that. You know, we would scored a lot of goals this year, and we've kind of cooled off. So we, hopefully we can get back rolling here soon. I think, like you said, with the penalty killing effort tonight, to not let them have one on any of those four. Yeah, it's tough. I mean, we're we're four times in the box. We don't have a power play, so for the the PK to come through and and again some big saves in there too. You know, Elvis made some some timely saves on those. So, but yeah, the PK. I, I feel like the last two games have been excellent. Dan Forth with three goals in four games. I mean, it's an important time for him to just kind of keep the wheels going and, and really keep the momentum going. Do you like the way he's sticking with it and the way he's playing down the stretcher? Yeah, we're, he, he's such a great story. I'm telling you, at, at, at 28 years old, and and you know, I, 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 you know, yeah, he got his, he got the one way deal, and he comes to us. But everybody forgets I sent him down. You know, he didn't have a good camp, and and he's a centerman, and we put him on the wing, and he, so he wanted to play wing. He had to fight his way back and get in here. So, you know, that uh, never too old to uh, to learn something new and. He's just, he's done it the right way. He, he, he's done everything he can to get himself relevant and in the lineup. And, and now I see him every day. And that's what I told him. I said, I need to see you every day. And he's earning my trust. He's on a, on a checking line roll, but now he's starting to score. And now you're starting to see, you know, some of that polish that he has. And, and uh, it, it's such a great story because so many guys either are stubborn, they don't want to change or don't think they can change. He, he's done it, and, and good for him. He earned himself a contract, and I'm thrilled to see how this guy's played for us. And, and uh, he, every night he competes. He comes. He comes. I notice him every night, and I love that. I was just to say to you, Cole Sillinger could have had easily an empty net goal mm-hmm. tonight. He gives it up to the veteran player. What do you make of that decision in that play? I'm not surprised at all. It's, you know, that's just that's kind of how Cole is. He, he's, he knows that's the right play. You know, and be unselfish. He's an he's 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 very mature for his age. I've said this uh, many times, and and he's kind of going through that ebbs and flows of the season and and where he's at. But um, that play there says a lot about him. Just you know, yeah, he easily could have skated in and scored, but 
he gives it to the veteran guy, and, and Curls almost missed it. And it, it was it was that close. He actually came to Mitch. He goes, I almost missed that. And it felt like that. He almost he almost shanked it in the corner. So that would have been devastating. I'm not going to lie to you. So, you know what? Uh, yeah, good on him. Uh, you, you love to see those unselfish plays.